What's going on YouTube? Steven is Salon Guy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing, for the first time ever, I just unboxed it, the Dyson Corel, which is a straightening iron or a smoothing iron. And I watched the premiere as James Dyson did a great job of explaining what it is, and he did a great presentation and a live stream, and I purchased it literally like after that was done, and went right to the website, and it was here in like two days. So. Uh, I'm not being sponsored by Dyson, however I should, <laughs> to be honest with you, because there's a lot of YouTubers out there uh, doing tutorials, they're not professionals, and I feel like I bring a lot to the table, So, but I'm not sponsored by Dyson. I purchased this, it was ridiculously, over $500 with tax, like $514 or $15 for a smoothing iron. It's not affordable for everybody, I'm just going to say it out there, but with Dyson, and I'm a true believer in this, and I experience it, is that you're paying for the quality. I use the Dyson, the, the blow dryer, and the, you know, the air wrap, and I mean, I have all of the Dyson tools. I have stuff at my house. So I'm a big Dyson fan. Uh, I've purchased everything, to be honest with you. So I'm excited to talk about this, because as a professional stylist, I've used you know, many straighteners over the years, and the big trend is always making sure there's ceramic plates, and all this technology every year is coming out. And in the live demo, it was so interesting to see the area of heat when applied to the hair with a, with a regular smoothing iron and the new one here, the Dyson Corral. And it showed how on a, another smoothing iron that the heat was only focused in one area and it was kind of dispersed throughout the sides. Whereas the Dyson Corral, the entire section of hair, the heat was evenly distributed. And I said to myself, well, and, and they had some sort of infrared you know, uh, display, which I'd never seen before. So I was like, wow, this is pretty interesting. So today what I'm going to be doing, I'm just gonna kind of show you guys what comes in the box. And you know, it's up to you if you wanna get it. I'm gonna see today if it makes a really that big of a difference. I haven't used this yet. This is the first time we're doing this together. So let's get started. This is the box that it came in basically like this, and when you take this out, uh, everything is included in this box. It's got a pretty cool display here of the internal uh, display of the iron here, the corral. And as always, I like the fact that there's verbiage and you know some highlights and features on this. So Dyson is saying that this is the only straightener with flexing plates that could, that shape to gather hair. And from what I saw, the copper plates that are right here, these copper plates actually do kind of shape the hair. And, they, and they're, they're kind of a bit flexible, which you've never really seen to before. So I'm looking forward to that. Also, a big thing is the, the heat. Now, when I was watching the live stream, James Dyson mentioned something about temperature, and he said it gets as low as, you know, 100 and 40 or 170 degrees, which I said, oh my gosh, that's incredible. But then when I saw Jen Atkins, the, the, uh, the stylist, the professional stylist came on and then she said, you know, it goes from 330 degrees to up to 410. I said, wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense. But from what James Dyson said, he said that this here, even though it's displaying at that temperature, what you're getting is not that hot of a temperature. So I guess that kind of is what he was talking about is that you know, the actual heat of the hair. If it says it's 400 degrees, it's not really 400 degrees on the hair. So it's actually conditioning the hair. Uh, it's suitable for all health, all hair types. Um, and what comes in it basically is the straightener. You've got this uh, charging dock right here, which I, I just discovered something kind of cool, which I'll talk to you about. It comes in this uh, heat proof little pack right here, this little pouch, which I think is really, really nice, really nice texture. And of course, like with everything, it's got some instructions and, um, and things like that. The cord, everything comes together. Now what's cool about this, and I had a bit of an issue right away, was I said, it, it's saying that you know with 90% battery uh, charging in 40 minutes. And I said, 40 minutes to charge this thing? But then I realized, here it is cordless, which is cool, but then you can take this off and then have it hardwired. So I said, oh, okay, I thought you didn't, I didn't realize you had the option to hardwire it. So for everybody who's like, oh my gosh, you're not gonna get that much 
you know, battery time and whatever, well, you will. But also, if you're not using it, put it back in the charger. So, <laughs> you know, I, I, lo I love discovering things that are kind of common sense, and I can be a ditz sometimes, to be honest with you. But this is basically whatever it comes with, and it really is, I mean, it feels quality. This is not a very, very light smoothing iron or straightener. It is a bit heavy, I'll be honest with you. So, but I think that kind of gives more control, but I'm just letting you know that it's not the lightest uh, that I've ever felt. Now let's get started with some straightening. The cool thing about this is it has a lock button down here. You got the power button right here, and then also these little dials here, or these buttons that make the temperature go up and down. As you can see, let's get this in focus right here. So these little buttons right here, it raises the temperature from 330 to 365 to 410. So let's go to, let's go right in the middle. Let's go 365. And then there's a check showing that it's confirmed. It shows a battery life and this thing is ready to go. Now I have this weird little thing that I, I smell it. I try to smell the heat. And in the past, which other ones, I would tap this just to see if I felt anything. What's amazing is you don't feel any heat in here, which I think is cool. There's no heat in here, right? So. Let's give it a shot. So this first hair type is a traditional, very platinum blonde hair. And usually these hair types, it's very, very fine the hair and fragile. I'm going to use the, the fine teeth of the comb and let's lock it in here and give it a nice smooth one pass. And wow, not bad. So yes, the hair is fairly warm which is normal. It's showing that the, you know, because it's a hot tool. So yes, the hair will be a bit warm, but it seemed to have gone through the hair pretty easily. Okay. Let's do another section here. Let's go to 410. So there, we just confirmed that it's, it's going to be at 410. I don't know if it's instant, but I'm assuming that this jumps up to 410 relatively quickly. So let's take another section. Some of the smoothing irons in the past that I've used from other brands, you know, they say, oh, it heats up to 450 degrees in like eight seconds. So I'm sure this is at, you know, 410 right now. All right, here we go. Locked in. Smooth it out. Wow, I got to say, it's really, really sealing off the hair very, very nicely. Let's do one more section with the blonde here, and then we'll switch to a different hair type. I'm also, this is, this is great to see how I, I use it myself because, uh, you know, a lot of smoothing irons are a bit different. Again, I know I mentioned that this one is a bit on the heavier side, but wow, I have to, I have, I will admit something, right? Now what's cool is I put it right back in the charger. So it's, it's charging as I put it down. But I, I, will know, I will mention something to you, and let's just section this out of the way. Is that this hair right here, and I'm not, I'm not kidding with you, is that this is super silky smooth. And it's got a lot of great shine to it, but also the hair feels incredible. It does not feel, you know, dry. It does not feel damaged. It's like silk. And I put no product in this, so I'm... I'm I'm pretty impressed, to be honest with you. All right, so I'm just testing this to see, and yes, this really, I mean, it's, it's warm, and you don't want to put your hands on the plates, but, you know, a lot of times, this is extremely hot on other irons, and this is actually workable, so. All right, now we're using a completely different hair texture, and let's see how this reacts and how this smooths it out. This is a bit more coarse, uh, a bit more of a drier texture, and here we go. So I like to go at a nice, smooth, kind of even motion. And don't worry about that smoke. Oh, wow, look at that. I'm just going to continue to do a couple more sections here. I may actually try to create a wave with this on this hair type. So I like to always comb through the hair before I use any sort of hot tool, like a smoothing iron. Again, this is one pass. And just with one pass, let's take a piece right here and let's do a little bit of a, a wave. So I'm going to come in and turn so that the, the 
fishtail right here is pointed towards you. And I'm working the Dyson Corral through the hair and let's see the result. A nice little soft wave. Very nice. Look at that. And it's smooth, it's not frizzy. So I'm digging it so far. And I just wanna show you the section that I just did on this hair. As you can see, it's very, very silky. And it feels phenomenal. Here's the one with the curl. Very nice kind of texture, but yes. I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous. All right, here is another somewhat traditional kind of blonde. This is very, very coarse, and I would say somewhat over-processed and just very dry, right? Very dull, very dry, very coarse. And let's see what this does. So let's take a section. I just wanna go right down in the front right here. I would probably not do this with a client. Sometimes I have, <laughs> but it really, really depends why. All right, so, all right, so I can see the battery life is already going down quite a bit. All right, so I don't know if while it's in the charger, it makes up for that lost time, but it's, it seems like the, the battery life has kind of dropped pretty, pretty dramatically. All right, so here we go. We're locking it in. Nice, even tension going right through the hair and letting it drop down. And you know what's interesting is that this does not feel, the hair does not feel like it's singed. That is what I think is really unique is that the hair does not feel like it's singed. So I'm, I'm, so far, I'm very, very impressed. Again, it's Dyson, you're paying for that quality, you're paying for that technology. So, you know, it's hard to kind of challenge it. And yes, it may be a bit on the higher priced value, but I think if you're somebody who straightens your hair like every single day, and I've worked with so many clients of mine who have had you know, lots of damage from straightening irons, from curling irons and hot tools, this, this is probably worth the investment, to be honest with you. So now I just took a much larger section, and same thing, it feels good. All right, let's do one more section like this and then we'll move on to the next. But you can see how brittle that hair is right there. Very, very brittle. I like to comb through the knots because the last thing you want to do is when you're using a smoothing iron like this or any smoothing iron or hot tool like this, you don't want to have knots in the hair. So we're locked in. And I'm using even tension and I'm pulling the hair right towards me and then we'll let it drop. And there it is. Now let's, let's say we're in, a, we're, we're in a rush, right? Many of us stylists, we do this, you know, we'll go over it and just do a quick, quick overlay, you know, one, two, and we're done. A lot of, a lot of us do that as, as professionals. And let's see what we got here. So that, when I took that big section, that's when I did feel the hair, when I do feel the hair a bit warmer. But I have to tell you, the condition of the hair feels like, like a whole new head. And I saved the best client for last. <laughs> Talk about curls. I mean, this is definitely a very textured uh, head of hair. And these heads of hair tend to have you know, knots sometimes. And you know, the hair is definitely thicker and a bit more coarse, but also very fragile as well. You know, African-American hair or hair of this texture there's a ton of it, but the individual strand is so fine that it can very, very easily snap. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna comb through this very lightly here, just to get any knots out, because we are looking to smooth this out. So don't be afraid to uh, just get all those, those knots out and brush right or comb right through it so we have an even, uh, even canvas. All right, so here we go. We are ready, We've got the comb locked in. And let's see. Okay, so far so good. And here's a true test. Whoa! Wow. That is like pin straight. Man. All right. So I'm gonna go over a couple of pieces that if I feel like I need to go over it 
or it's not exactly how I want it, then we can, but so far, so good. So when it comes down to body positioning, if you come over the top this way, you're throwing your shoulder way over. So what I suggest doing is coming underneath the section like that and then using the iron to smooth on top of it. So I'm keeping my body position in very, at a very, very good position for me and I'm not overextending myself and causing any sort of harm <laughs> or injury. So is the Dyson Corral worth $500? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. It really, really, really depends. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm just, it's just like with any Dyson product, if you want that super high quality and you want those results, not for everybody, because I've heard people say some Dyson products they don't like, but if you like with, with, with the blow dryer and, and the styling tools and things like that, I definitely feel like it's worth it. But for something like this, it's worth it for somebody who has hair types like what I showed them before and you want less damage to your hair. You want your hair to feel and look amazing and that you, you literally iron or smooth your hair on a daily basis. I would ditch what you have and definitely switch over to this just because of testing it on these mannequins, which has real hair types and I used a variety. I could see that, wow, this would be great great for a customer who, or a client who uses a hot tool on their hair daily, especially when it comes to smoothing irons. I've seen breakage, I've seen all sorts of disasters with it. So I guess it really comes down to you. If you are a stylist and you set away some money to invest in things like this and tools, if you use a lot of, of stuff with the iron, then I would say it's definitely worth it. The only thing I'm concerned with is the battery life because yes, even though it's being charged, like, I think they said it only lasts a half an hour or so. <laughs> a half an hour worth of, uh, you know, cordless time, which is like, uh, you know, and then if you use it and then put it back in and take it out and put it back in, you know, I noticed that even though it was still charging, it was dropping at the same time at almost just as a fast rate. But that's where the cord comes in, right? That's where if you do want to have that continuous power stream, then use the corral in a corded, a corded, fashion so but but it looks like it's charging back up relatively quickly so it, it's good to know that this is charging it's working well i guess that's pretty much it guys you know if you have any questions let me know you know again this is the first time i use this i want to show you how it worked what it did in my honest opinion as a stylist yes i think it's worth it if you can afford it and you have the money if not there's other straighteners out there but this is pretty much first technology that I've ever seen of how it distributes the hair and, the, and the, the heat evenly throughout the hair. So thank you all so much for watching. Dyson, if you see this, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, reach out to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for more videos with the Salon Guy.